Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be going over how to best execute a lift sprint. When starting a sprint, you're going to want to get your speed up to a pretty fast speed. So one way that I like to do this is by slingshotting myself using another rider, just falling back slightly, then sprinting and using the draft to slingshot yourself. So here you can see that um, going into the sprint, I'm already at 41 miles per hour and you're going to want to use your power up during the sprint because that will give you your maximal speed and you can see right here that I pretty much destroyed the other riders in the sprint and I won the sprint by 0.6 seconds. The best place to have a good sprint time is in a group ride or with a pace partner because there is a large group that you can use to slingshot yourself and that will really benefit your sprint time because of how much the draft benefits you in Zwift. Bike choice will also play a role in how fast your sprint time is, so even a better bike choice will increase your sprint time by a few hundredths of a second and maybe even a tenth of a second. Finding a good position to sprint and a good cadence will also benefit you that is, a lot of that is personal, so you're going to want to see what works for you and what you feel helps you achieve the highest sprint power in the fastest times. This can be tested by just sprinting repetitively and seeing which position or um, gearing helps you get the highest power in your peak power sprint attempt. You don't necessarily need the highest power or the highest watts per kick to win a Zwift sprint. All you need to do is have good tactics and good timing. Also, a good power up will benefit you a lot. All of these things will help you get a sprint jersey. So, I hope these tips were helpful and thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.